Hello, we are already in November, so I realize that I'm not going to have time to read everything that I want to before the end of the year. So I find it useful at this time to take stock and figure out what I want to prioritize reading before the end of 2024. And to help me do that, I have the end of the year reading tag, which is six questions, which will help me make a plan and uh, organize my TBR pile. So I'm going to go through and answer all of these questions. But I would love to hear in the comments uh, if there are any books that you really want to prioritize over the next couple of months. Uh, so I'm going to have a sip of tea and then start with question one. Are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? Well, first off, um, there's the book that I'm currently reading, Our Evenings by Alan Hollinghurst, which is quite a, a long book, and I'm halfway through reading it because I'm reading it with my online book club. Um, we just had our first discussion about the first half of this novel. I'm really fantastic to talk through it um, because there's a, a lot going on uh, in this story, which um, is also like quite meditative, and um, and and it takes its time um, revealing the the life of uh, this uh, man named Dave, um, who's mixed race and um, living in England and uh, and going to school and um, kind of figuring out what he wants in life. Um, so really enjoying this so far. I'm looking forward to to finishing it this week. Um, then I also have uh, a novel called. Night by Edna O'Brien, um, which I started reading over the summer um, while I was uh, on holiday in Ireland, and I was reading it aloud to my husband, and I uh, was really uh, enjoying it, but it's just finding the time where um, I can continue um, reading the rest of the book uh, aloud to him. We're a bit over halfway through it, and uh, and it's following a woman who uh, is, is um, house-sitting for someone. Um, she spends a lot of time uh, in bed, kind of mulling over her past and her experiences and her encounters with other people. She has a very um, fun, funny and like witty voice, um, but then there are very many moving moments uh, in this story as well. So I'm looking forward to continuing on with this and like a lot of um, language play. And there's also um, uh, the, the novel There There by Tommy Orange, which I started when I was reading um, The Lawn List for the Booker Prize um, because um, this was the, the prequel. Well, it's both the, the prequel and the sequel um, to, um, uh, well, no, Wandering Stars is both the prequel and the sequel to There There by Tommy Orange, and uh, Wandering Stars was on the Booker Prize long list, and so I wanted to, to read this first book before getting to Tommy Orange's new novel, but then I kind of ran out of time. There were other books that I needed to prioritize first. So this is still the only novel on this year's um, Booker Long List that I haven't read yet. Um, but I, I was really getting into um, this story. So yeah, I do want to return to it and then finally read Wandering Stars. Question two, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? And I, I actually have a couple because I had a whole uh, autumn reading list of books that I'm still reading. But one I really want to get to is Swift River by Essie Chambers. And um, this is a novel about a teenage girl in New England um, in the 1980s and uh, and how she, um, her her father um, ha left uh, a long time ago and um, she's kind of missing him and wishing she had a connection with him. But then she gets a letter from a relative which um, starts revealing things about her family past. And so she goes on this path of discovery um, uh, about um, her family history, but also larger local history. And because this is set in New England, and um, I know like the leaves are turning in New England, and I'm from New England myself, even though I've lived here in London in the UK for a really long time. Um, yeah, I, I just want to be like taken back to that um that era that that place and um and that change of season um I mean, you can see the the leaves changing here as well but um but yeah um i think this will be a, a good yeah kind of autumnal transition read but then also i i want to um speaking of the booker prize i want to read um a previous novel by last year's winner paul lynch um called beyond the sea uh, which is um follows a um couple of men um that take off on a ship um uh, it, from South America and then find themselves lost in the Pacific Ocean. So it's a story 
of survival, but it's also an existential journey. And I've wanted to read more by Paul Lynch, but also I, I just love um, novels that are set at, at sea. And so um, I, I don't know if this is set specifically during the, the winter, but um, but yeah, I, I think it'll be a good uh, novel to sort of buckle down with and, and start reading while the temperature outside is getting a lot colder. Question three, is there a new release that you are still waiting for? Um, I, I'm, I think this is a book that has only only just come out, uh, but it's a nonfiction title uh, called The Company of Owls by Polly Aitken. And uh, this follows um, the, the author's experience um, witnessing some tawny owls um, in her local area and um, and how she observed them over a, a long period uh, of time and how this like makes her reflect on her own life and um, feelings of solitude. And I'm someone that's a big fan of, of owls and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, and I, I love reading um, some good nature writing. Um, so yeah, I think um, this will be a wonderful like nonfiction title um, to get to read in. Also, one of my favorite experiences this year was um, when I was uh, in uh, the south of France for a short period, I was um, having dinner um, outside and um, there were some trees nearby and I saw in those trees um, there were some owls, which because uh, it was getting dark and so the owls just started coming out of their hole to, to go home hunting and I was observing them. So I'll put in a little clip here of a video I took of that because I just loved seeing them. Um, it was such a wonderful experience. He's there. Oh, yeah. Hello. Get up, get up. Question four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Well, there are so, so many more than uh, just three, but I, I went through my shelves because um, I have a whole big shelf of, of new books that have been uh, published this year that I still really want to, to get to, but I, I don't think it's quite realistic that I'll be able to, to read actually all of them. So I've picked out just three. Um, first, there is A Little Trickery by Rosanna Pike. Um, this is a historical novel set in the 1600s in England and follows a vagabond girl who does what she has to uh, in order to survive, including conning people. And uh, and so she devises this big um, act of trickery where she pretends to be an angel. And uh, this is based off from a real historical case. Um, so yeah, I think this sounds like a, a fascinating story and sort of glimpse into the, the past like this. Then there is another nonfiction book um, by Richard Flanag Flan Flanagan, Flanagan um, called Question 7, um, uh, Richard Flanagan, a former Booker Prize winner. And um, this is a, a memoir slash nonfiction book that is looking at his own personal and family history um, between Japan and Tasmania, uh, but also um, yeah, looking at larger historical events and um, and and literary relationships. And uh, and I've just heard really great things uh, about this book. Um, so yeah, I want to get to that. And then um, there is the novel The Lion's Den by Iris Mwanza. And uh, this is set in Zambia and follows uh, a woman who has just become a lawyer after coming over coming a lot of adversity. Um, it's set in the 1990s. And the first case that um, she takes on is for a queer individual who is um, being um, persecuted for um, crimes against nature. And uh, and so it's about the struggle of this case and how um, her client um, goes missing um, while she is trying to um, defend them. And uh, so, yeah, it's looking at larger um, history and, and political and social um, events in Zambia. And I've just not heard many people talk about um, this novel, but I think it sounds so fascinating. Question five, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? And there's a number of books that I have really high expectations for and that I'm really anticipating, but one um, that I do still really want to read and that uh, is, is I Will Crash by Rebecca Watson. And uh, this is a novel that follows a, a woman who um, has been a estranged from her brother for uh, six years, but then um, because of circumstances, she's forced to um, confront him and, and um, reevaluate her experiences with him and um, her family life. And uh, I'd read Rebecca Watson's debut novel, Little Scratch, which was so uh, inventive.
inventive and powerful uh, on a number of different levels. And uh, and so I, I think she's such an exciting um, new author and, um, and writes in this way, this kind of um, really s- draws you into the experience, the, um, the stream of consciousness of her character's life. I'm um, using this um, unique style of, of cutting these, these short um, passages that are really following the immediate thoughts of our, her characters. And so you feel so with them. And, uh, and so, yeah, and I've heard um, great things about this novel too. So I think it might turn into a new favorite. And finally, question six. Have you started making any reading plans for next year? Well, I'm still really trying to focus on what I want to read before the end of this year. But um, way back, even in the the summer, I started receiving some advanced copies of books that are going to be published next year. So I I can't help um, already start thinking about um, what I want to read next. And uh, and of course, the winner of this year's um, Nobel Prize for Literature was Han Ken. And uh, I want to read with my online book club a previous novel of of hers um, called Human Acts, which had kind of like gone out of print um, here in the UK and a new edition was uh, meant to be coming out in January, but I was in uh, a bookstore the other day and I saw um, there were copies there already. So um, so I want to read with my online book club uh, that previous novel by Han Can, but I also want to read um, her upcoming new novel called We Do Not Part, um, which I think is already out in um, some places or they might push forward the publication date for it here um, since she just won the Nobel Prize. But uh, but this is a, a novel um, following a, a woman who visits a friend at the hospital and uh, and then receives a request to, to go feed um, her pet bird um, on an island where she lives. And um, so she travels to this island to try to um, feed and save this pet bird, but then uh, uncovers um, all thing, things about um, her friend's um, past, um, but also um, larger um, historical events. So sort of tunneling into history in that way. And I've heard really good things uh, about it. So looking forward um, to reading this, um, but also an upcoming novel um, that's been, been getting a lot of hype called Model Home by Rivers Solomon, which follows um, three siblings as they return to their um, childhood home in Texas, um, where their parents have died. And they're kind of reckoning with their own um, family past Past, but also um, the, the past of um, this area and the social circumstances that they grew up in as um, the, the only Black family in their community. And then um, finally, a novel I'm really anticipating for next year is Old Soul by Susan Barker, which uh, I read Susan Barker's um, previous novel, The Incarnations, which I thought was uh, incredible, both as a really like adventurous and thrilling story, but also a really unique way of looking at identity. And um, so this follows um, two people that um, meet by chance in an airport and discover that they have this um, strange connection where um, people that they were closely connected to those people shortly before they died um, met a very mysterious beautiful woman and um, and uh, the, this there's a sort of secret about this mysterious woman's past and um, so they they gradually like uncover things about this um, this old soul um, in, uh, in 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 their connection with each other and um, and looking into um, the, the the deaths of uh, people closely connected to them and so um, yeah and I've already heard really great things uh, about this novel. It's going to be published in February here in the, the UK. So I'm really looking forward to that as well as all of these other reads that I'm hoping to get to before the end of the year, as well as many other books um, that I've been wanting to, to read. So um, I'd love to hear if you have read any of these books, if you would encourage me to prioritize reading them um, sooner rather than later, I would love to hear about that. But also if you want to let me know about your priorities um, that you want to read before the end of the year, I'll put all the questions um, from this uh, this tag in the description below um, if you want to answer them in the comments or make your own video or do your own response um, somewhere else um, then yeah I, I just find it really useful um, to help me like sort through what I really want to get to um, before the end of 2024 but I hope you are reading good things and uh, enjoying this um, transition into the winter period and I will speak to you again soon bye-bye